<clears throat> All right, Halos, welcome back. We are back once again in the Mob Vote server. Um, they opened it up for another day, as you guys might have seen in the um, uh, the Minecraft Live stream. So uh, yeah, I think you have to right click on her to talk. Let to her. me tell you about the mobs. Voting is already closed. You can't vote anymore, but I will happily tell you more about the mobs. Do you want to know more about the crap? The crap claws are very helpful for players who enjoy building. They allow blocks to be placed further away. And I'm not sure if this is true. I don't want to mislead people, but I heard somewhere that um, this also means you can break blocks farther away, but I'm not 100% sure about that one, so don't quote me on it. Uh, either way, let's go to the penguin. Do you want to know more about the penguin? <laughs> uh, Listen, the stony shore biome, they're super friendly and don't so don't be scared if they come up to say hello. They're a bit clumsy on land, but in water, they'll make your boat move quicker. Uh, and then an armadillo. Do you want to know more about the armadillo? Uh, it's one of the mobs that wants to join Minecraft. It lives in warm places like savannas. The armadillo drops scoot, or scoot, I think, which can be used to craft armor for your wolf. This will give your favorite four-legged friend some extra defense against hostile mobs. Alright, and then we already talked to Lydia, but I will go ahead and talk to her one more time. It's the weekend of Minecraft Live! Alright, yeah, so this is Minecraft Live has ended, but this world will be online for a, a little bit longer. You can watch Minecraft Live on Minecraft's YouTube channel, where you can learn all about the newest news, deep dives, and the reveal of the mob vote winner. And then we do have some our arrows in our inventory. I do think we need to get a, uh, a bow. You found a spot to spend your emerald tickets. Different stores stock different goods, so remember to shop around. Alright, we'll do. What's he got? We need one of these to deal with all those creeper balloons floating around. So yeah, that's one of the uh, little objectives. So we we'll definitely want to get that. Also, um, the hammer in case of emergency whack mobs. So I don't have enough for this one yet, but that's one of the mini games. Great go horn, great way for to make loud noises for no particular reason. And then the frog hat's pretty awesome. Definitely going to look cool at the mob boat party with this. And then you've also got the purple balloon, a festive balloon with a purple hue. And then the emerald crown for the wealthiest of royalty crafted from sustainably resourced emeralds, which costs a lot of money. So but we're gonna be going for the hammer next. So let's go ahead and try to get all the uh, balloons out here. Let's just check out this little place first, though. Nice. I was gonna say, I don't think we've gotten all of them yet, so let's definitely check all of the ones that we can. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do that, but we did. Uh, let's go ahead and check every corner. Ooh, is this a little bit of a parkour thing? I don't know if this is, like, a parkour thing at all, but... Huh, I don't know. No, I don't think it is, but it kind of looked like it was for a second. Let's check out this side of the building. I think this is just the other side of the room. Yeah, it was. And then, was there anything down here at the bottom? There was a little bit of a staircase. Got some stuff down here. Maybe there's some chests. Yeah, here we go. Nice, got some more tickets. And then, wow, this place is a really deep uh, storage area. Nice, 10 more tickets. Let's go. What are these? Oh, I think they're empty bookshelves, if I'm not mistaken. And we got Tiny Agnes over here. Oh. Well, the... She's trying out the new game that's called Whack-A-Mob. Talk to her if you want to play. I do want to play. Let's take it. Welcome to Whack-A-Mob. Whack as many mobs as you can before the time runs out, but don't hurt the villagers. That would be very bad. Okay, let's try it. Whack-A-Mob Q. Go ahead and look at the, uh overall little bit of a map there. It's pretty cool. This is starting in 20 seconds, so we can kind of just look around. Are there any uh, of those creeper balloons over here? Because I can go ahead and take out a couple of those. Did I go ahead and grab this ticket? Yeah, it looks like I did. Here we go, there's a creeper balloon right here. Oh, I can't. There we go. Nice. We got some tickets from that. Alright, it's about to start. It's hammer time! Not the villagers. You want to get... These guys. Uh-oh. You don't even need a sword. You don't even need a sword. Nice job! You are going to get so many arrow tickets! You don't even 
you need a sword. Nice job! You are going to get so many emeralds to get. Well, here's some, uh... No! Time is running out! Whack those pesky mobs! Try But a whack. The mobs have been oh, whacked. How nice. do you do? Uh, I finished the score of 57. Got 23 tickets. Can I play again? I can. Okay, cool. So you can kind of just uh, spam that one, I guess, it looks like. I'll definitely be coming back in a little bit, but first I want to check out some other stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more of these. You can't shoot these balloons, right? No, okay. All right, let's get this one, though. There we go. Five, or two more tickets. It's going to say five, but no, that's not right. Did I already check out this one or not? I did. Okay, good. I'm trying to remember exactly which ones I have and have not checked out so far, so we'll definitely check this out. I do want to also ride the uh, roller coaster, but I'm not sure where to where to get them from, so we'll have to see. Uh, we already checked out most of the direction that way. Oh, here we go. There's one right up there. Perfect. Two more tickets. Let's go. <clears throat> Alright, let's travel up these. The ladder was very quick, actually. Oh, nice. It's got a little bit of a, a leaderboard there now. <laughs> Okay, and then let's continue on. I think there's more of those creeper balloons around here somewhere. Let's try to find them if we can. This game mode one is in the... I already check out this, uh, checked out that little room previously. Let's check out one of these other buildings that I have not been in yet, like this one. It's a little bit of an upstairs area. Oh, it looks like a little bit of parkour. It's connected here. Uh, oh, okay. Here we go. There's the roller coaster. It's probably very safe. So take it for a spin. All right, let's do it. Enjoy the ride. All right, I will do it. Wee. <laughs> oh, there's one up there. Whoops. Trying to get creeper balloons on the way. Oh, that's a nice roller coaster, then. Oh wow, it goes through water. What the heck? That's crazy. We. Oh my goodness, it goes through the water. Okay. Underground. That's pretty cool. the whole map and everything too. Yeah, if I was really good, and if I had played Minecraft a lot in the last few years, I probably would be good at the, uh, although it's, it was a little bit laggy on the server, but I would probably be better at shooting the balloons on the path, <laughs> and then it slows down at the end. I like it. It's a pretty cool Minecraft ride. Alright, let's cl clip out all of the, um, or like clear out all of the balloon creeper balloons that we were going on about, and then continue to check out the rest of the stuff. I don't know. All right, uh, cool little sign here. It says like the boat's over here. We definitely will be taking the boat as well because I wanted to check that out. Uh, can you open the door here? Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. Is there anything in here? Aha! Some tickets. Don't mind if I do. I don't think I checked out this place either. Ah, the dock. Tiny Lydia can take you to the other island. Go talk to her and she will give you a ride. All right, will do. Uh, let me just check out the rest of the place here first, and then I will do that once we uh, once we clear out all the creeper balloons that I have not taken out yet. Let's try this one, see if we can get it from here. Not quite. I think that went over, actually. There we go. Nice. Couple more tickets from that. We've got 168 now. Here's another one of the balloons. Boop. Oh, that's sticky. Uh, i got some copper over there. I don't know if you can... Oh, maybe you have to jump from there. We'll have to go back around to the top of this place to see if we can jump off of that little bit. Here we go. This should do it. Oh, here we go. Creeper balloon right here. Is there any ones over here that I missed? I don't think... Oh, here we go. There's one right there. This is the one I... The first one I saw, actually, I think. Can I get that one from here? It's pretty far, but...
surely one of these will get it right. There we go. <laughs> Got it. Alright. Um, how about this way? Possibly? I wonder what happens if we fall in the lava there. A little bit of a parkour here as well. I do want... Uh, so it looks like you can actually like do this parkour, but you have to like activate it at the beginning, which I did not know. So all of these can actually give you tickets by doing the parkour, interestingly enough. Hello. What do you say? Parkour's a little tricky. Make sure to pay attention to the jumps ahead. All right. part of the parkour or something um but yeah let's uh let's try to get on these slime blocks here Ah oh, man i didn't make it i didn't go far enough uh, let's turn the volume down on the water because that is very loud i noticed the last video as well that it was extremely loud so i'm um, not sure what that would be exactly i think maybe ambient environment that be it? No, that's definitely not it. Hold on. Uh, go back to settings. And then audio. Environment's fine. Friendly creatures, maybe? Sometimes this is a weird one. How about that? Try that. No, that's still too loud. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I will find it, I promise. Uh, well, it's not friendly creatures. How about blocks? Oh, it's not blocks. Let's go back to audio. Let's take it all the way back up. Let's do players, maybe? Let's try players. Oh, that definitely seems like it was less loud. What happens if we turn it completely off? Does that mean it? Yep, okay, it was definitely players. All right. So in that case, let's turn players up a little bit, but not very much. Let's do like 12 or something, see how that goes. Yeah, that's not too bad then. Alright, cool. Alright, let's get back to the main island. Uh, I'll have to go this way, I think. Here we go, got a little bit of a ladder. Let's take out this one. Oh, it like, it's like lagging, so it's auto-releasing it. That's weird. Alright, there we go, we got the two tickets from that one. I think there's more around this side of the map. So you need to pass the docks over here. But uh, yeah, we will be coming back to the docks, just not immediately. I want to get as much as I can done on this first island and then continue on to the blocks after that. And to the docks, I mean. Onto the second island. There we go. Done and done. Uh, is there anything over here that's like a secret? Is there like a chest here maybe? I can get some tickets at. No, it looks like just a abandoned ship, or a shipwrecked ship, I suppose. Alright, um, let's see. Try to get this one from here. There we go. A couple more tickets. It's only two at a time for those, but I mean, at least something. Is there any up there? What's down here? Is there anything down here? We didn't go here on the, the roller coaster right, I don't think. Or did we? Did we? Maybe we did. I don't remember going through here. Oh, wait, maybe I do actually. I think it's mostly ambient though. I don't think it's like actually part of the roller coaster ride. No, it definitely isn't. Okay, well, anyways, um, how do we start the parkour on the armadillo one? That's what I want to know. Yeah, this server is so cool. If you guys have a chance, definitely check it out. It's ending in, I think, about an hour from the time I recorded this, so you probably won't have a chance to if you haven't already, but yeah, it's really fun. Alright, and then are there any balloons over here that I've missed? Let's check. 
This is the maze that we've already been to. Could go down there. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Alright. Uh, let's go into the maze. I do want to check if there's anything else here. So that'll take me there. I'm pretty sure I already got the... Yeah, I already got the chest in the middle there. I've already been there. So what happens if we go to the, the left side here? It might just be another entrance. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, looks like there's a little bit of parkour or something. Interesting. Alright, any balloons over here? Gotta find all those creeper balloons. Maybe there's more on the uh, the other island as well. I'm not 100% sure. That would make sense, though. I definitely want to do these parkour things, though. Um, they're definitely pr looking pretty nice, and I want to get some free tickets from those for sure. If possible. What does he say exactly? It seems as though we stumbled upon some sort of mysterious structure. It looks like it has multiple entrances. I wonder where they lead. So yeah, he doesn't give you any, like, quest or any mission or anything. That's interesting to note. Is there anything in here? I think I already checked this one, but... Yeah, might as well check it a second time. Why not? And then this is back on the other side with the whack-a-mob. Alright, I think I got most of the, um... of those little creeper balloons. I don't know if I got all of them though, but I definitely want to try these parkours if possible. Um, how do you start the parkour? Have I talked to you already, Tiny Boo? So how does this voting thing work? And after the vote? Okay, yeah, that's just how to vote easily. Um, nothing particular. What happens if we start here? Check out these parkour courses. They are all different difficulties. Easy, medium, and hard. The crab course is a lovely stroll through the mangroves. The armadillo course is a test of skill for any parkour enthusiast. And the penguin course is a workout for even the greatest parkour champions. I couldn't know. Do we just start by here? We're starting the crab parkour. It's easy difficulty. Now, you just need to make it to the top without falling. We go down here, okay. My bad. First checkpoint. If you fall, which I'm not saying is likely, second checkpoint. You respawn here now. Alright, yeah, now we're on the parkour. That's good. So close. You got this. Ooh, I thought I lied for a second. I was like, uh oh, I was about to fall. That was a pretty easy one overall. Uh, where do we go from here? Down? Through here? Oh, here we go. I like the little noises when you hit each of these little circles. That's kind of cute. Alright, there's a little bit of space to jump. I thought that I might hit my head for a second. I was like, nah, it's good. Alright, we're almost at the top here. Let's climb up this way. You have to tell you that you did great. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Crab. Alright, and then we can, like, jump off a little thing here if we wanted. Um, yeah, might as well. Wee. <laughs> Alright, well, that was pretty fun. Let's go to the other courses and get some tickets from those as well. And we want to complete them. I'm not the best parkour person, I promise. And you, as you can tell, um, clearly. But I definitely want to try them. Let's do the armadillo next, because uh, that's the medium one. We'll work our way to the hardest. You're starting the armadillo parkour. It's medium difficulty. It's a little tough, like the armadillo. I like it's like Assassin's Creed almost, where if you hit land in the hay, you just don't take damage. You're halfway through. Just keep <laughs> jumping and running, and you will get there. Yeah, the checkpoints are really nice though, actually. I quite like that. There we are. 
there. Checkpoints. Oh, shoot. If you fall, you respawn at the next checkpoint. If you want to exit, use the leave item in your inventory. Okay, so you just automatically re uh, go to the checkpoint. Okay. Oh, shoot. That's fine. He didn't, he didn't respawn me because I didn't fall too much. Yeah, I'm like lagging almost at every jump. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> Actually, not sure why I'm lagging. Let's uh, see if we can change any settings in here. Maybe make it a little bit less laggy. Uh, maybe video, first person, yep, yep. Don't hide the HUD, full screen's fine. FOV can be a little bit higher actually, but it's fine. Um, max frame rate, anti-aliasing. This high render distance, oh we have very high lit render distance, yeah we don't need that. Let's try this one and see how that goes. That should be a little better. bit of a zoom out. Actually, let's put it a little bit higher so we can see like the whole world from here. Uh, what was it? Is it in video, I think? The render distance. Let's put it like 26. How's that? How's that? Oh no, that's that doesn't matter actually. I was trying to, because the, the crab is a little bit in fog right now, so I was trying to make sure so that it wasn't, but it looks like it doesn't really matter whether it's in fog or not. We'll just do like 16 or something then for now. Alright, let's jump off of this little thing. And let's go to the penguin, the hardest of the three parkour challenges. Still getting a bit of lag, unfortunately, but that's all right. Not the end of the world. Let's go a little bit backwards here. Just gotta get back up onto the platform here. All right, here we go. Let's do it. What'd she say? We set up these parkour courses. Can you jump your way to the top of this statue? Uh, the crab is easy, the armadillo is medium, and the penguin is hard. Okay, just a quick overview of what we they said before. You're starting the penguin parkour. It's hard difficulty. Sorry, it's oh, actually whoops. very hard. You may not finish it, but that's okay. Most people don't. Don't worry, I'll finish it. I'm very competitive. There we are. I think I was actually doing this one the other day. I might have already completed it. Uh, that's funny. I was doing it in the first video and I forgot to uh, actually like start the parkour where you're supposed to start, so I was just doing it just for fun without actually getting any of the uh, checkpoints or anything. It's kind of funny. Alright, oh, a little bit of lag there. Don't want that. Not while we're jumping. Third checkpoint? I don't think I need to explain how this works to you now. Definitely don't. It's kind of interesting. They get like smaller something when you're closer to them just so you can see better I think for the parkour oh, okay I almost fell there I kept sprinting a little bit too fast here we go we're almost there oh wow nice. you finished the hard parkour almost no one can do that you are the emperor of Penguin. <laughs> they did, uh, Mojig has made a lot of comments recently about this game being for kids, particularly, so there's definitely, uh, even though it was somewhat difficult, it wasn't really that hard overall. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's a uh, parkour or anything, but it kind of looks almost like it could be a parkour area. I'm not sure if it is. Let's kind of like check it out though. Um, if there's like a way to jump up or anything. Yeah, here we go. We got a little bit of a staircase here, sort of. It's not like actual parkour, but it's uh, definitely like a way to climb up or something. Here we go. Yeah, it's definitely a way to climb up. Uh, there might be some chests with tickets in here. Not sure, but there might be. Kind of curious. Oh, okay, so we, we found these little guys. These are like the um, little mobs that they were going to put in the game. I forget what this one was called, but he was basically going to spawn like ice on his head. 
on top of your head rather and it would follow you and then eventually it would fall down on you and you try to dodge it uh, but yeah that was pretty cool okay let's get this one must have missed that little creeper balloon is there anything else over here that I, I can shoot from here any more creeper balloons doesn't look like it but perhaps I wonder if there's anything on top of that little hill there I feel like there is let's uh let's go check it out let's go to the um, this roller coaster and follow it a little bit let's go on the stairs so we can just sprint I gonna say, can we do it like from the waterfall, go from the waterfall, or uh, go up from the, what do you call it, the vines maybe, but no, not quite. Alright, is there anything up here? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. It says we've, we've seen five of nine of the little clue things at the top, like the little, uh, what do they call that, spy glasses I suppose? No, not really. Magnifying glass, that's the one. Um, I wonder if there's something up there. It looks like there is. Oh no, no, that's just the top of the crab claw. I don't think we, pretty sure we already got to that part. Maybe we just need to go, oh, here we go. There's another one right here. Maybe we just need to go to the, uh, the top of things to find them out. Or these like little, little clue. I, I wonder if these are the same. Because it looks the same. Not sure, honestly. I guess I could have jumped on top of that. Alright, either way, uh, I think I'm going to wrap the video up here. Uh, we will be doing one more episode, I believe, um, of this. So you guys can look forward to that. Um, I'm going to pre-record that second one and probably release it either today or tomorrow. Uh, we'll do a little bit more of this mini game, and then we'll probably also do... Um, what is it called? Oh, he's got the frog hat. Look how cute it is. <laughs> um, we'll probably do the second island as well in that. So look forward to that, and thank you for all for watching. Uh, Alright, peace. Oh, wait a second. We got a little mushroom here. I forget what these were called, actually. They're cute, though. Alright, either way. Uh, thank you all for watching once again. Peace.